Yo, what's up guys, how are you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant, and today we're gonna to be doing a gaming test with this 65 inch Hisense A7G. And the console that we're gonna be using to test out this TV is the PlayStation 5, and the games will be Gran Turismo 7 and Battlefield 2042. Right, let's get straight into it then, no messing about. Now, I just want to say a quick thanks to the guys at box.co.uk who were kind enough to send over this Hisense A7G for me to test out. Now, if you are looking to purchase a new TV, then please go and check out their link in the description where you can pick up something like this 65-inch Hisense for under 650 quid because they are having to get rid of their old stock to make way for newer models. So yeah, go check them out and grab yourself a bargain. Now let's give you some details about this TV then. So first off, sadly, this TV doesn't support HDMI 2.1, but there is some good news. Because it does have a dedicated game mode, supports VRR and auto low latency mode. So uh, yeah, if you're a gamer, you're gonna know that is great news. So first impressions then. Well, to be fair, it don't look too bad for a 650 pound TV. Uh, especially being you know this sort of size 65 inches we are currently in game mode uh, this is HDR well let's move around to the side to see what the viewing angles are like and again not too bad I have seen better obviously coming from an OLED TV it ain't gonna be as good when you come off access but to be fair not too bad, you could definitely get away with sitting off to the side here. Now, uh, I'm sat on one of our other sofas, and it does darken down a little bit and lose a little bit of colour, but it's certainly not washing out completely. Again, keeping the price in mind there. And um, we have actually compared this TV with another one, which is this Samsung AU 9000, just there. and. Um, we will be testing that out gaming wise as well, which we haven't done yet, but we did uh, test out in the daytime with just some general viewing against this TV and we did feel that this one uh, come out on top and I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to that video so you can go and check that out for yourself. But yeah, this isn't a shabby TV at all to be fair, like I say, for the money. So again, we just uh, move around, let's see what it's like with reflections because uh, we have got some uh, windows there with a light coming in so yeah we are seeing those reflections coming through just there I want to be open and honest with you guys to show you what it's like so again not perfect but I'm sure most gamers are gonna more than likely pull the curtains and probably be in a dark room and talking of dark rooms, you're gonna probably say, Paul, why are you doing this in the daytime? Well, don't worry, because we're gonna be testing out this TV with the Xbox Series X in uh, another video, and we will be doing that in the dark. So PlayStation in the daytime and the Xbox at night. Right, moving on now then with Battlefield 2042. And I do apologize about this game because uh, my son has just informed me that basically nobody plays this game anymore because it is absolute trash. Uh, apparently a lot of people ain't happy with the developers and what they've done with the game. So uh, yeah, I do apologize that in my game choice. But anyway, moving on. So a lot of people ask me about input lag. So this TV, as we can see, it says game mode. Boost your chances of winning with input lag of less than 20 milliseconds. Now don't get me wrong, there are TVs that can get significantly lower than that. But again, keeping the price in mind, 20 milliseconds or less, not too bad. But uh, you know, like I said, you know, you can step up the range and get a TV that is uh, significantly better than that. Right, let's once again take a look at the viewing angles with a different type of game being played then. So uh, let me just show you the setup there. So we've got a sofa set off to the side. And uh, let's perch up over here. So, you know, I could be 
a friend that you've got over sat off to the side maybe player two player and uh, yeah let me know what you think do you think that's passable sat off at this sort of angle uh, personally I think it is I think I could uh, get away with playing sat over here like this so uh, yeah but you know please give me uh, your opinion in the comment section and uh, once again let's just be honest and show those viewing angles there when it comes to those reflections now up until now I have been playing the sound out of my dedicated amp and speakers and what I've done is I've just knocked that off and we're going to listen to what this sound is like on the TV itself and it's not the best um, it's certainly better than the other TV I tested the other day but I would recommend a dedicated sound bar or, or amp and speakers. Now we do have a few options when it comes to the sound. So we've got auto, sports, we've got late night, we've got speech, music, theater, and standard but one thing it does have is uh, quite a lot of volume so uh, yeah it does go pretty loud right what I'm gonna do now then is change up from HDR standard to HDR dynamic now I know this is gonna be over the top but I just want to show you what this TV is like when it's on its most brightest and punchiest setting to be fair it's quite vibrant do you know what I mean because this is in fact a QLED TV we do get some really nice punchy colors like I said a lot of people probably won't play in dynamic but I thought I'd just show you anyway and uh, once again let's just move off to the side see what it looks like with that increased sort of punch going on there and you know I've got to remind you guys this is a sub 650 pound 65 inch TV let me know what you think so there you have it in guys now like I said I will be testing out this TV with the Xbox Series X and I will also be testing out the Samsung Crystal UHD AU9000 with both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox as well so make sure you subscribe for those upcoming videos so if you've enjoyed today's video and appreciate my honesty, please spare me one second of your time to give me a thumbs up. It really does make a big difference. And like I said, if you've not already subscribed, then why not? So anyway, hopefully I will catch you on the next one. And we're off now to shoot the next installment with that Xbox Series X. So bye for now.